Are you coming? loves coming out to the garden with me welcome back to a gardening video this is just going to be us in the garden and i'm hoping stephen's going to join us because i've thrown in a few hints about doing the um do you remember in the greenhouse over there we will go in in a second i just can't get in with this basket um he has moved when we did the greenhouse project stephen moved come in um the what on earth is it called? The heat bed. This was in there and then we did all of this and he moved this in here for me and then he put a shout out saying, does anybody know where we can get the wires um, to, to, for the soil, the soil warming wires? Sorry, I haven't got my teeth in, can you tell? <laughs> right, so I've dropped a few hints in. I would like a frame, um, a top for the top of this. Um, and you know, he's so handy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He might be able to do that. And I know when I saw the seed, we've had this conversation in the comments, haven't we? You can't resist a challenge, can our Stephen? Um, so I'm hoping that he's going to join me. So the first job I'm going to do is basically empty this because he cannot stand coming out um, and having a mess to work with. He's, <laughs> it doesn't work like me. Um, so I'm going to get all of this moved quickly, get it tidied and fingers crossed he turns up because then he'll start doing measurements and everything. And I'll, um, I'll step aside while he does that because ideally what I'd like to do is if it's got a, a cover on it so basically it'll have a lid on it like this portable um propagator and it'll just give a bit more protection and heat to certain plants as i'm growing them through the winter um that's the plan but as he said you're not filling that tracy until you get a new soil warming cable that works because the one that's in it doesn't work um so if you can make a, a lid for it effectively as high as possible would be perfect um, then at least I can keep plants in there and keep them warm until I acquire a soil warming cable. Um, it's the one, is it still in here? Yeah, it's this yellow one, he showed you it before, that attaches to the, the Paracene thermostat. Um, and you just switch it on and it just gives a bit of bottom heat because we all love a bit of bottom heat, don't we, in the winter? Right, I'm going to get tidied up and then um, we'll see where we get to. Hopefully he won't turn up before it's tidy. <laughs> Might not turn up at all, actually. All done. It only took a couple of minutes. I've just got a little bit of compost that I'm going to worm on one of a flower head that I tried to save and it went mouldy. Um, got some lovely flowers for my anniversary, our wedding anniversary, off my mum. So I'm just going to compost this um, before I forget, and then we'll go on. And I'm going to have a tidy up in the greenhouse first of all because I didn't get that basil that um, we spoke about. Been using bits and pieces fresh, but I didn't harvest as much of it as I could. So I'm gonna do that, um, pinch the tops off, give everything a water. Cause as I said, on one of the last videos, I'm not watering as much now, now that things are coming into ripening stage rather than sort of growing and swelling stage. Um, so I'll get a load of basil, have a water. There's a few weeds that have come in, in the greenhouse. So I'll get those as well. I'll put this back in my little basket before I forget. Oh, I've got some lettuce there for the chickens. Let's some lettuce and some plums that um, we went foraging and got some wild plums or bullaces, whatever they are. And there was a couple of them that weren't great. So I've got some leftover lettuce and some plums for these big lads here. Well, they're not lads. Sorry, I don't mean to offend anybody. There you go. <laughs> She's run off with one of the ducks. The duck's talking to her. Yummy, yummy. So this is lettuce straight out of the garden and plums straight off the tree. We're going to be getting these soon. Um, these cooking apples. We've been taking one or two. I was feeding the pigs before they went. Um, it's actually the day after. Do you remember I said I wanted to get in the garden the following day? And I said, oh, I'm only expecting to have a couple of hours where I won't be able to get in the garden. That didn't transpire. <laughs> didn't transpire at all. Um, as always, you know, best laid plans. I ended up doing all sorts of other things um, that I was needed for. So I didn't, I think I just came in for maybe half an hour or something like that. So this is me now in the garden, which has worked out well, really, because I'm pleased to say that the pigs went absolutely fantastically. Um, you'll have probably seen that video if you're interested in that side of things by now. Um, but least stress to them, as I always say, that's what's important. And thankfully least least stress to me <laughs> i had the first full night's sleep last night 
Um, well, I slept till three o'clock and then went straight back to sleep, which is a full night's sleep in my books because I've been waking up every night at one o'clock in the morning. Um, get to sleep just fine, wake up, can't get back to sleep and then have the worst sleep in between one o'clock and like five o'clock when I get up. Um, but I slept superbly last night uh, compared to what I have been. So I was wondering if it may have been like, you know, with the pigs on my mind, with everything that's been going on from like, you know, the kids with um, school and Grace and, you know, all the different things that the kids going through without giving too much away. But they're of an age where college and school and everything, there's lots of lots of changes there. So slept well and feeling really positive today. Actually, I thought it was going to be a little bit sad in the garden yesterday. So I'm glad that the things took over, to be honest, um, because I didn't get that. I did had to do other things. So we got the chicks as well if you saw that video oh my goodness they're just adorable anyway gardening mode today so i'm going to get tidied up i need to get a sweeping brush actually i forgot you were out mister rodney oh, my honey's travels right i need a weed bucket you've been you can see flipping rain again right let's go and tidy up in the greenhouse look the weeds are coming back through on the pathways again don't ever think you've got on top of them. They've all come through here. This tomato actually has been dropping lots of its fruit. So as if it's ripe. But they're just, I don't know if that one's jumped out my hand. I think I'm just going to give up with it because they're just they're non-existent. Oh, I mean, how? maybe they're a small variety. Maybe I should have been harvesting them in the... <laughs> There's tons. I might sweep them up actually and have a look at them. Maybe that's as big as these ones get. But when I've had tomatillos, they're more like, um, you know, salad tomato size. But that's fully ripe. Let's have a look. I've actually come prepared for once. Got my knife in my coat. That is ridiculously small. Is that what they're supposed to do? Do you get small tomatillos? Who knows? Okay, let me get tidied up. I'm gonna get weeded and then um, get everything in water, I think. Are you coming to build me a lid? Huh? I don't know yet. <laughs> don't know yet. So they say that's 70. So you'd have seven rows at one and a half. So that's seven metres, eight, nine, ten metres. Right, how are you going to open it? Right, put that. Where's that going to go then? Oh, just the lid. What? No, all I was going to do was build a box. Basically, build this the other way around, but made with plastic. And then you just lift the whole thing. Oh, right. So you'd lift this? Basically, yeah. But then that's not even going to work. That'd be heavy, though. It wouldn't, but it wouldn't work anyway, because if that sat against that, that wouldn't work either. And it came out. Right. right, I've got this pathway swept. I'm going to grab all of the tomatoes that are ready to harvest and the basil then i'm going to water it's a bit of a jungle look how high this has got that must be what i don't know nine foot or something um so i'm going to take all the tops off as well just to stop any more growth see if there's a side shoot that i can get off this country tape the side shoot that i took off the big mama seems to be growing at the top um obviously these leaves have died off it's had a bit of a strop that it's been moved so i'll take these leaves off um i'm just gonna i'm kind of just not wanting to do anything too drastic at the moment because as soon as that gets new growth on it i'm hoping that i'll get another side shoot that i can take off we'll see we'll keep an eye on it together but it's not looking fantastic but it's not dead so that's good news um yeah i'd like one off this country taste potato <laughs> <laughs> tomato as well and then as i say i'll give everything a good water and there's another couple of aubergines i think that i can harvest too um Stephen, bless him you know i had an inkling that he was coming out i was it all was a little bit tongue in cheek he hadn't said for definite that he was so i had planted the seed and um i know that he just likes to get me out of his hair so that's why he's getting on with it now 
hopefully this will be um i don't know what design he ended up going with um but hopefully this will be really helpful in the winter you know to keep the harvest a little bit longer just like a bit of a mini polytunnel really and then i think the design of this front greenhouse will really work i'm gonna do um in pots as well i'll get some things going in pots i'm not too sure what just yet if i'm honest um but anyway i'm going to get the tomatoes done first i'm not going to think about that too much i'm going to harvest what we've got because obviously i want to make sure that we're eating what we've got i'll get some basil in the dehydrator because there's too much fresh there to use um and then at least the greenhouse will be nice and tidy and i'm working in here particularly because it's drizzling um, so it's not that nice outside to be working and it needs doing to be fair so i'll see how stephen gets on um i'm going to also look for a new cold frame cover um i think i'm going to have to bite the bullet and get something from like the likes of gardening naturally or something like that uh, somebody apologies i can't remember who it was made a comment about her cold frames if it was somebody else apologies um and having a net over the top now i think i'm going to get some more of the thicker kind of polythene uh, not polytunnel polythene um to put over the top of them the only thing is cats thing and things like that tend to lay on them because it retains the heat but we'll see I'll think about that another day i'm not doing that just at this moment there's rodney hi <laughs> say hi you are a scruffy mess hmm? do you need a bath no maybe not then okay <laughs> Hello, Trouble. These black Russian have been so prolific. Oops. They just keep on coming. Oh, there's one growing <laughs> in between the slats. <laughs> Partnership made in heaven, tomatoes and basil. Now these cucumbers are snack cucumbers. So I'm going to harvest these because they're actually probably bigger. I thought that they were full size cucumbers, but they're not. They're the snack size. So they are probably bigger than I should have harvested them, but they'll still eat. And this one here, I believe, is the same. So I'm going to harvest that one as well, which will tell the other ones to get a shifty on. Though this one looking a bit confused with life aren't we all these are the sun gold absolutely delicious um there was another cucumber hiding this has got too big so i'm going to um slice this up and give this to the chickens that are waiting just outside the window there i'm throwing them out the tomatoes that have gone over <laughs> they're loving it and the ducks of course Round to this one. So anything that's a bit too soft is going straight out to the chickens. Or split like that, because we can share. There's plenty for everyone. There's Rodney, but I don't know where Buster's gone. You're a good boy, aren't you? But Buster's a bit of a devil, devil dog. Right, this is the country taste tomato that we've um, <laughs> been talking about taking the side shoots off. I've just literally chop topped it off because it was all bent and snapped. I'm just going to hope for these two to ripen. Um, but having said that, look, that's got flipping. Mm, that's not going to ripen very well, is it? That's a whole... This one may come to something. So this is why I've taken the, the top off anyway. I'm going to take off um, this this leaf here because it's not doing anything. It's a wrong colour. And then this is a side shoot. Another one. So I've managed to get just a, a few different stages. Um, this one actually has got tomatoes on it, but I don't think it would have time to come to anything now. Or, or the flowers at least, rather. This one too. And this one. So there's like five, which I'm going to try and pot on and we'll just see what happens and then we'll know the different stages. And if, you know, a d earlier is 
an earlier younger um stem is better than an older one i don't know i'm just guessing at this game so i'm gonna get this tidied up um i think if this doesn't come to anything um i might just whip this out and put one of the cucumbers there give the cucumbers the rest of the season so this one here has actually got a side shoot on the side shoot so i'm going to take that off and put that in one of these smaller plant pots that i've got here and just bury that really deep and give that a water um so effectively the only one this is the big mama and all of the rest are going to be country chased how healthy does that look at the minute that's going to look so dead very soon anyway that's going to get watered now these ones will need bigger pots i'll take this leaf off and bury this as deep as possible um and i'll probably do the same for some of these but they're going to need bigger pots so i'm going to go and grab them out of the shed and get on with that now um because otherwise these they'll need water pretty quickly i think otherwise they'll have even more of a a strop than they're going to just from being replanted but we can try can't we Be a prototype you might get orders and stuff Whew, i'm out of breath i'll show you why but first of all i've watered here in the greenhouse i haven't taken down any of the jungle just yet because i want to get in the polytunnel and water in there as well but you actually can't even get in the door so i've just had a bit of a fight with those um cape gooseberries or the ground cherries whichever name you know them by and i've just put in the most crude piece of string here all the way up coming in all the way across here with a few canes because they were literally all over this path you couldn't see anything else so there's quite a few tomatoes in here to harvest but i couldn't get to them so we're at that stage where it's you know anything will go so i'm going to um, harvest the tomatoes take out all the weeds sweep the path and then just get a little bit more um more sense and sensibility in here so the first thing I've done is taken out this um, nasturtium, which before it self seeds too much. Now every part of the nasturtium is edible. So I'm gonna grab some of these, the um, petals, as well as the seeds that it's setting off, get them in my basket and we'll do something with those in the kitchen. The leaves too are fully edible. You can use those in salads. I don't know if you can use them in teas. I'll have to remind myself. Um, so I'm gonna grab the healthy looking ones because some of them aren't very healthy looking. That one's got a bit of a yellow on it, but you get my drift. And this may am blowing. Yeah, that's a nice looking one. So I'm going to take all of the petals, the flowers off here, and we'll crack on. I've got myself an old bucket to sit on. I'm going to have to get myself an, like, an allotment seat for the jobs where you sat for a while, um, because I keep cracking buckets. What you got there? Your new toy. <laughs> Do you want a hand? Uh, no, I don't want you to put your fingers through the plastic. Cheap. Right, well, this is a warming bed, and we wanted a, like a greenhouse cover for it that you could get in that contain the heat as much as possible. So, this is a design I've come up with so far. I've just got to make a couple of doors to go on the front with them, some hinges so you can get in and out and then it'll be like a concealed, what would you call it, like a polytunnel inside a greenhouse. <laughs> so it'll keep everything as warm as they can over the uh, growing over the winter. So I'll go back, see if I can knock some doors up and she'll be finished tonight. Probably doesn't look much on camera, but um, there's a lot of weeds that have been taken out of there. I've brushed the rest of the, the nasturtiums back um, I'm happy for them to self seed at the back and just get nasturtiums in that back bit. But as you can see, there's quite a few tomatoes that need sorting through. So I'm going to bring bring my trusty bucket in and we're going to go through these tomatoes here. The nasturtiums taken over at the back as well. Um, so I will have self seeded nasturtiums next year. Some green ones that have fell on the floor. I'm just going to give those to the chickens because I have a feeling there'll be plenty of green tomatoes at the end of the season. Oh dear, I've just seen something. Oh bugger the rest of the plants don't seem there's dead leaves but nothing this is blight if anyone's wondering right i need to get maybe i do need to harvest the green tomatoes 
let's get in and have a look dear me hopefully hopefully not there's peppers here as well there's a couple of just little ones it's a mistake putting them in putting them in here and um, they will be in hopefully the new polytunnel next year if not they'll be in the greenhouse now the uh, tomatoes have always grown very well in this polytunnel here but as you can see we've got a kind of a door on the front that just stops the birds and things getting in it was put on when the chickens were in here for flock down and we decided to keep it and thought we probably won't need it for the plants plants aren't going to escape um i'll have a look at the cape gooseberries when we're in there as well all the ground cherries and see how they're doing so i just literally pushed them back i haven't checked that check them um but yeah the the peppers haven't done very well in there they haven't had as much light um and it's been a bit of a miserable old summer hasn't it to be fair what summer have we had um so the peppers will all go in the greenhouse or something next year but they won't go in the polytunnel so it'll just be tomatoes in the polytunnel polytunnel probably a whole host of ground cherries ground cherries that have self-seeded as well as nasturtiums so at least i don't have to plant that up next year <laughs> anyway i'm going to get my little bucket and i'm going to work my way along harvesting tomatoes now look straight away i wouldn't have worried about this brown patching initially but i've got just the first two tomatoes that i've seen that weren't red um have been blighted so i think i'm gonna have to empty everything out of here harvest what i've got and uh, did i just say i wasn't gonna have the green tomatoes yet because i think i'll have a lot yep i was right i'm gonna have a shed load of green tomatoes um you can still eat the blighted tomatoes just cut out the bad bits if you've got some red ones that turn blighty um it, it's not but yeah obviously this is this is too far gone um, and also I've noticed on the potatoes, tomatoes are probably going to be the same, same, same family. Um, if they aren't showing signs of blight now, if I harvest them, they could potentially show signs of blight in the next few days. So I will keep them separate. That's such a shame. These are prolific, these guys. These are moneymaker, um, which some people don't like because they say that they're tasteless. But I'm really, really happy with the productivity of them, especially when they're roasted. I think it really helps. So that's a disappointment, but could be worse. Could be worse. I could have got no red tomatoes. Now I just wanted to show you, this is one plant. It, I thought it's going to be easy for me to come outside and take all of these off. My goodness me, talk about absolutely loaded. Again, this is one, one plant here. And bearing in mind, I've already taken a lot of tomatoes off these plants. They are absolutely prolific. I had a quick look down here and I thought, oh, maybe it's not got down here. Look, can you see that one there? That's absolutely black. Can't believe how quickly it takes over. So I'm going to whip them all out. Um, at least it'll give the peppers some, some more light. I'm going to do one at a time in the wheelbarrow because it's just easier and keeps it a little bit tidier. I didn't expect to be doing this today. these tomatoes um won't turn blighty but to be honest i'm probably not going to give them the chance we will use them in the next couple of days um i'm not sure if you freeze them if the blight will be retarded or if it'll still turn up i'm not sure i'd maybe it could blight in the freezer i don't know surely not but I, i've never tried it before so um if you've got any green tomato recipes please let me know i'll obviously be looking in my my books my recipe books for them and i will show you what we turn um what we turn all of these into um but at least it means that i can empty the polytunnel and get some winter crops in there i've got some um purple sprout and broccoli that are waiting to go in i might put one or two in there and another couple outside because they get quite big those plants and um, we will be using the leaves off those when they grow as well and making the most of the whole plant and not just of the actual broccoli stems that come through um, I've got some other, I'm not sure what will happen with the um, brassicas that got eaten by the caterpillars. Um, some of them are trying to come back and I do love a fighter but also Stephen reminds me that I can't rescue everything even though I do try and then end up feeling overwhelmed as we all know. So we shall see, um, I'll have a good look. I'm going to get some winter lettuce in. I've got all of those plug plants that you saw me saw the other week. Um, they are pretty much, some of them are ready or more than ready to be honest to be um, to be potted on. So I'll get all sorts put in there. Um, not too much though, we'll give the peppers a chance. I might try and overwinter some of the peppers, um, especially the there's the Frigatello that seems to have uh, be trying harder than the others, but I think that's an F1 I'll have to try, I'll have to have a look, I can't remember. Um, and jalapeno, I love jalapenos, we all do. So 
I'll try and overwinter some of those. We'll see where we get to. Um, and also the seeds in the bed over yonder there um, that you saw me sow. We've got four lines in, didn't we? There was mustards, uh, mizu the mizunas, um, lettuce. I can't remember what else there was. Oh, spinach. Spinach, winter, sp anyway, whatever. Um, a lot of those have come up. So I'll have a look at that with you in the next gardening video. But I think I'm gonna, I've got my work cut out for me, emptying all of these tomatoes off these plants. How much I'll get done tonight, I don't know, because it's nearly wine time. We have got our own country wines on. We've got a bramble wine, rhubarb wine. I'm gonna be doing, what's the other one I've got? Anyway, you'll have to watch when I remember. <laughs> I'll let you know on the next vlogs that, um, that I talk about I'm it. I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna go and get the rest of these tomatoes off here. And when Stephen comes out, we'll catch up with him and we'll finish the video. Right, well, that's the doors finished and that's that propagator, or whatever you wanna call it, finished. So I was going to put hinges on, but with it being different angles, they were proven to be a bit of a pain in the ass. So I just opted for a, a little shelf there and they can just come off and faff about with your stuff and put that on. Same with this side. Easy peasy. Job's done. How fantastic is that? Chuffed to bits with that. As you can tell, Stephen's in a little bit of a rush to get finished today. <clears throat> it's getting on. Time's, Time's are Lights taken. are losing. So thank you very much for joining us. We're off to look for some green tomato chutney recipes and have a relaxing evening. So we will see you tomorrow or on the next video. For more jobs. <laughs>